<clears throat> my quilt or my Oh, hey there. All right, I found it. And there's one watching, which is probably me. <laughs> See, I got to put this on mute. Um, all right. Looks like we got you coming in. Hi, Lisa. Oh, looks like it's going to start spinning. Darn it. Stop spinning. Stop it. No spinning. <laughs> you think it'll listen to me? All right. There's Willa. Come say hi, Willa. Come here. Willa, come here. Everybody wants to say hi to Willa. Yes, they do. There she is. You say hi to everybody. Say hi. She brought me a ball. <laughs> Imagine that. Hi, Kathy. Um, let's see. Have I missed anybody? I wonder where Tiffany is. <laughs> she must still be beginning her leg massage. Let's show them your ball. Here's her ball. I gave her a brand new ball, but this is what she brings me. Oh. Now she wants it. Um. The other day I watched, uh, you guys know, heard of Kong, it's a dog toy, and um, I watched a few of those videos yesterday, and um, you're not going to believe this, but I canceled one of my sewing subscriptions, <laughs> because I think I have enough fabric, and I'm not doing those darn projects anyway. So, um, I don't know why I'm re doing this, but humans talk with their hands. Uh, anyway, I am ordering them the Kong box. They will get it monthly. I'm ordering it for the dogs. And, uh, yeah, so they're going to get it monthly. And... I know it's not sewing related, but you guys know how much I love my dogs. I will probably do a video because <laughs> I know they are going to go nuts, um, especially that first box. Um, they love stuffed toys. So I'm looking forward to checking out the Kong stuffed toy because I guess it's stuffed with rope and not stuffing. So that's a good thing because I get tired of picking up all that stuffing. Hey, Vicki, you made it. Uh, let's see who else we got. Oh, hi, Mary. Glad to, glad you're here. Glad you guys made it. Sorry about the confusion earlier. Um, I know I was supposed to go on at 2 o'clock, but there was some other complications. That, so, And I was having a re hard time getting my video on my studio to do what I wanted it to do. Anyway, I just canceled it. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it Lizette? I think this is the first time I've seen you on the live stream. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Glad everybody's here. Um, let's see. Make sure I caught everybody. If, if I missed you, please type your name in again um, so I can say hi to you. Let's see. Kathy, Mary, Jim, Lisa, Vicki, Kim, Loretta. Hi, Loretta. 
Hi, Brenda. You shared. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you shared. It's all um, Brenda's fault that I'm coming on. <laughs> you guys can thank her. She sent me a message. And Tiffany. They're like, you need to go live. <laughs> Where are you? Um, all right. So, anyway, so here we are live. I got my cup of tea. You guys have something to drink? Once again, it's chai tea. And, uh, with cinnamon creamer. And... A little bit of leftover coffee from this morning. It's what they call a dirty chai. <laughs> I thought about pr putting like peppermint schnapps or amaretto, maybe? <laughs> but I don't drink, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> so I don't think I have either one of those downstairs but it is good yeah it is good uh, let's see if we got anybody else here oh southern comfort I haven't had that in a while I used to be quite the drinker uh, just thinking about this the other day how long it's been since I quit and I want to say it's going on six years. Now, I occasionally have a sip or two of beer, but I can't drink the whole thing anymore. I'm, I'm a cheap date. Uh, and we during Elk City days, I might have a drink. Uh, but it's pretty diluted. Because <laughs> I can't take much anymore. Yeah. Six years since I quit drinking. I I can't believe that. It's amazing. And it wasn't easy. I'll tell you that. Because I... I am a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but... It was time to get off of that because it wasn't making life happy. So, anyway, that was probably more information than you need to know. But hey, you know what? We're all human. Hi, Kathleen. And uh, we all have our challenges in life, don't we? So, bless you too, Kim. Well, thank you, Mary. Mary said she's proud of me. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't miss it at all now. I thought about it quite a while for the, especially the first year, and then even in going into the second year, especially like if it got really hot outside and I wanted a nice ice cold beer, you know. <laughs> so... Yeah, but all in all, I really don't miss it. I don't, especially don't miss the hangovers, right? Thanks, Billy. Hi, Billy. So, um, ooh, January, last Monday, when, whenever that was, we, hi, Angela, we went to, uh, Lewiston, Idaho, which is a three-hour drive north of us, but it's really the closest place to us that has uh, large medical facilities. So, uh, Brandon went to the heart doctor. Uh, so, we found out a little bit more about what's going on with his heart 
we thought it was all good news. Um, so I'm a little upset with the uh, physician's assistant. <laughs> Because a month ago she told us that the EKG looked good. Well, um, Dr. Kim is his name. He said that Brennan has a leaky heart valve. And it's in the lower chamber. And he said that... Um, if it was on a scale on like very little leakage to a lot of leakage. Brandon is kind of in the middle, medium leakage. Um, now, how much that is leaking, I don't know. I That's going to be one of my questions the next time we go in, but not enough to, you know, like for him to go, I'll stop, we got to go have surgery or something like that, you know. So he said what it's doing is that it's leaking at the bottom of the heart, and when his heart pounds, it's pushing a little bit of that blood up into the upper part of the chamber of the heart. And that actually could be um, what is causing his AFib. He wants to keep an eye on it for now. In uh, three months, they're going to do another echocardiogram, whatever they call that do whatever their tests are, and um, it stays on that there shouldn't be any um, stroke or anything like that. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys give you that update because I've had a lot of people asking me how Brandon's doing, and um, I don't think I've told you that yet. <laughs> so... If I have, sorry. <laughs> that All that drinking six years ago pickled my brain. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, let's see who else we got. Um, hi, Joanna. Oh, okay. I do have a bottle of sherry in the cupboard. And actually, I have a bottle of uh, rum because I make that rum cake. But I don't particularly like to drink like rum and Cokes or anything like that. Um, I do like that uh, winter drink with the hot, bu hot buttered rum. That's pretty good. Okay, so, um, <laughs> yes, Billy, that is good news. Yeah, age is pickling my brain for sure, uh, along with uh, fibromyalgia fog. But I seem to do a little better if I remember to take my vitamin D. All right. So while we were up there in Lewiston, I did get to go to um, Joanne Fabrics, and they were having a sale in there. Um, I didn't buy any fabric. You know, Brandon was sitting out in the truck. So and I bought this cup. So let's be friends. Isn't that cute? Let's be friends. And it's a little heavy, so sometimes I have to use two hands. Because this hand will just give out. Um, Mary wants to know why I am picking out or unsewing my quilt quilting everything look good and I think a piece of lint or something I don't know what 
And so a whole section, whole section of it, or bo bottom, was not being pulled up to the top correctly. So that, and I just decided that I really did not like that thread color that I was using. And so with those two reasons, I just decided to pick it out. Vicki says, well, you have come that. Oh, cherry brandy, and that kind of makes it taste like a, a cherry Coke. <laughs> they caught us kids smoking because of my uncle who was like six years older than us and he would uh, make us go steal cigarettes from our mom and dad and then he would make us smoke them so that we wouldn't tell on him and of course you know I didn't inhale it I was only like you know six or seven at the time but mom and dad caught us and then um, they made all of us kids that were involved, including my uncle, of course it didn't bother him none, sit down on the couch and smoke a bunch of cigarettes. And oh my God, <laughs> we got so sick. <laughs> I was seeing green. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't take cigarettes from for my uncle, from my parents anymore after that. We were all pretty mad at my uncle. Okay, well, we'll just sit here and chat all day if I need to show you what's happening on the quilt. Oh, so at uh, Joanne's, I uh, also picked up some batting. I just got it like half off, so I got a nice big roll of uh, polyester batting. And then I picked up these really nice... Um, project boxes and um, nice big size and they were half off so I got four of those and that's about it all right let's see Okay, um, so I, I think I got a little bit of work on, done on this since I talked to you last. Um, See, yeah, those boxes are nice. What I like about them is um, as your quilt grows, it still fits in there. That's the problem with some of my boxes um, is they end up getting too small and then you need two boxes. Did you, uh, Brenda, did you order those from uh, Joann's? Okay, I'm just trying to catch up with this real quick. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of Cleaning and organizing, the place is a mess. <laughs> but I 
figured this month was cleaning month. Okay, can can you guys tell what I've got what I've done here? Uh, Vicki, I think uh, Brenda was saying that she ordered some of those boxes. This box boxes like this. And this is the project I'm thinking about doing. This is free uh, block from Fat Quarter Shop. I'm thinking about doing that with this bundle of fabric. And this is Boundless Fabrics. I'm not sure who the designer is. It doesn't say. Anyway, it's really pretty. I love blue and yellow quilts. So. So, yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. I've been wanting to do an Irish, Irish chain, but I think I might do this one. It'll kind of look like an Irish chain, sort of. I might have to do a little math. <laughs> so, that's a possibility. All right, so I added the tongue. Was that on there last time? I don't think it was. And then I added two teeth. Can you guys see that? Added this tongue here and these two teeth. And then I'm starting to bring in some black here. So you can see how dark it is right through here. And here's her tongue. And here's those two teeth there. Now, the teeth, I just looked through the fabric until I found something I thought would be close. Now, this one is a little more white, and this one's a little more yellow. So I'll have to come back in with something, maybe a white fabric uh, pin and kind of whiten that up a little bit. what I did with my other photo. I must have left it downstairs. So, yeah. That's kind of what I'm doing there. And then um, let's see. I might try and see this fabric here. I might try and cut some of this out for the ear because you see how much movement there is. I think that would look really cool for the uh, movement of the ear. So I'm going to try and find a piece that will work for that. Now, I can always come back over this with some black tool so that will darken that up. And that's my plan. I'm going to try and do that um, and see how that looks. Also, um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do um, 
for these other teeth right here. The ones right in the front. These little teeth. Right there. Um, so far I haven't found any fabric that I, I really like. Um, I did find... I don't know where it went. Okay. I did find this little fabric here. You see the I'm wondering if I could use these as the little teeth along the bottom. I thought I had a little piece of that, but is that it? Oh yeah, there it is. Alright, where's my oh here they are. Like this. But I don't know. Maybe. I'm still considering that. Yep, Mary says the doggy is getting personality. Um, Angela wants to know how everybody is storing their jelly rolls right now just folding in half and putting in plastic bags. Saw that they have fabric strip containers, but they're pricey. Mm. Kim says her jelly rolls just stay rolled up until she's ready to use them. Uh, that's what I do too. Yes, Angela, I have seen you on another person's website buying fabric. <laughs> we are all going to have to go to Fabrics Anonymous. And uh, we need help. <laughs> we got to stop buying fabric and start using it. Um... Yeah, if I don't use the whole jelly roll, then all those strips go in my um, strip, my scrap bin. That's what I'm trying to say. And then I have them just laid out. Or in my string box, yeah, I do that too. Yeah, I can't. I don't use my fabric fast enough either. I started um, going through it. I, I said I was um, been busy cleaning things up around here, and so I've been going through it. And anything I think my that I that doesn't really bring me a lot of joy. I mean, I'm not going to throw it out, but um, I just been putting it in in a box and then sending it on to my sister and. I sent her a uh, large flat rate box the other day, and boy, she called me, and she was pretty darn 
happy about it. Did I glue that down? Yep, I already glued that down. I want to lighten that. Okay, that. This is cut. This is a piece of a. Uh, well, whatever it is, it's not going to bend, so <laughs> I'm not going to use it. Um, all right. So. Yeah, me too, Cam. I acquire lots of fabric. But I canceled um, Creative Notion, so I haven't gotten that for a couple of months. Um, so that's that's going to help. Um, Tiffany has a good system too uh, over on Tiffany's Quilting Life. I think she has a video or two out there showing how she does her um, pre cuts. Yeah, I wish I would have got to go to Joanne's on the 7th because I think it was either a 50 or a 60% off I need a coupon I could have used. Um, all right. Now, I'm looking for some material that will work for this lip right here. See how much lip there is? There's a lot of folds and because her teeth are way over here. See, and her mouth is open. So she's got all this jowl hanging down. So I'm looking for fabric that will help me put that in and the odd thing is these little like shark's teeth almost <laughs> that's what that reminds me of little points I never noticed that on her before but they're definitely there and they're in the black and white one too and then I'll need to put two more large teeth back there which is way back here. And, uh, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Some of that. I thought about... I'm looking for pieces from this that I can use in the mouth here. Let's see. I, I need some light and dark. And what I like about this, in comparison, you see how that, I think that'll work good in there for that. What do you guys think?
Oh, J that's nice, Vicki. Great fabric. Oh, thanks, Vicki. Okay, you guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up for chatting. Okay, what is Nita talking about with Tiffany? Oh, the shipping information says Tuesday. Okay. All right. So... Um, hi Joyce so yeah I'm going to try and cut out something here for that so I'm just going to get to cutting hopefully I don't bump the camera too much Does anybody have any questions about the art quilt? <laughs> um, when I cut the fabric out, you guys want me to bring you bring the cavern down so you can see what I'm doing, or do you care? Might have to have that a little bit darker. Brenda wants to know what I'm working on. Is it a homemade design board? Uh, yes, kind of. Let me show you. Okay, you can get this um, great big um, clipboard at art supply stores. So it is a 
a wooden clipboard. Great big clipboard that has two two large clips on the top there. And then I put a piece of um, muslin. And then I just stretched it over and then I have it clipped down on the on the board. And then um, I have the easel that another ride. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you guys should try it. Try something really easy first, like, um, maybe we should do, like, um, flowers, you know, in a garden or something, like a landscape one. Would you guys try that? Yeah, so, landscape. That's what I was thinking. I should have, um, sorry for the quiet there. I was reading the comments, of course. Um, landscape might be easier. For sure. I'll tell you, a um, tweezers are your friend in this. Really get yourself a pair of tweezers you like. Brenda says, do something you love. She's talking about doing an art quilt. Do something you love, a favorite place, somewhere you want to go or been. Lisa says she would rather just watch me. <laughs> but a uh, landscape would definitely be simpler. Oh, Billy, uh, yeah. If you guys, um, one of my favorite, favorite channels, well, my favorite channel, <laughs> yeah. well, one of my favorite channels, okay, is um, Kate from The Last Homely House. I just love her. She's in over in uh, uh, the UK. And, um, She's just so really easy going and, you know, post things that are enjoyable to watch. And so, yeah, I watched her live the other night. And uh, I saw a few people there I knew. Right, Nita. It doesn't have to be realistic it can be more illustrative okay 
So, uh, did you guys comment about that um, ear fabric I was talking about? Did some, let me look back and see. I think you did. I think somebody said they liked it. Um, are you guys going to go over and watch Tiffany tonight? Five o'clock. Her time. The handbag. That has been more chat. <laughs> than um, explanation or watching. Sorry, it's been so long since we've had a live chat that just been more chatty. Yeah, I'll be going to Tiffany's too, so. We'll just stay on until then. I put um, dinner in the crock pot today. While I was watching Tiffany. A little piece. I gotta get some more dark back up in there. Oh, that's where I have to put the teeth. That's not gonna fit there. Hold on. I forgot about putting the teeth in there. Maybe I should use that for those teeth. No, I think they got to be a little wider. Well, I could put the teeth down on top of this. Maybe I should... Uh, let's see what I want to do. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's see. No, I want that. Um, those teeth got to be. Yeah, I need to get the teeth in there first before I put this piece down. And then. Honest. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. I don't know. I think I need a different piece. All right. Well, how about if we all start saying goodbye? And um, then I can go. I'll try and do another live stream in a few days if I can. And actually do some work on this. Mary's dinner's in the crock pot too. What breed is my dog? Um, the, this one is a chocolate lab. But in the photo, you know, um, she's really old. She's like, she was 12 years old. So she's really white in the muzzle, but she was a chocolate lab. Bye, Mary. <laughs> Nina says to Tiffany, it's amazing how you can get bedhead with such short hair. The struggle is real. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter how long it is, it's, you're going to get bad head. Um, let's see. Well, 
Yeah, um, if you're talking about Kate over at the last homely house, I would love to get some of her stuff. I really want those um, little bowls and little dishes she makes. Maybe I'll save up for it. I don't know how. Um, how much the shipping would be. I had 18 viewing and 15 thumbs up. Hey, that. See you guys all in a few minutes. Thanks for going live, Teresa. Big heart. <laughs> yeah, we got. I think we got four minutes to go see Tiffany. All right, you guys. Um, give me some feedback. Quilting life. And Willa says goodbye to you. Say goodbye, Willa. Bye for now. Love you guys.